So my name is Fred Johnson. I'll be your presenter for today. What, what is the definition of excellent? And when I looked it up in Webster's Dictionary, I was disappointed. Like I actually think this definition of excellent doesn't give it justice. Very good of his kind, eminently good, first class, superior. I thought that was like, man, that's an okay definition. So I, I kind of came up with my own definition. Applying your best effort in pursuit of the best possible outcome. Again, regardless of where you're at, you're putting forth your best effort so that you can get the best possible outcome. That's what it means to be excellent. So one reason why we don't chase excellence is because we're not motivated to. We don't care enough to. And so we're gonna tap into that today so that you can learn what resonates most with you so you can chase excellence and drive toward excellence. So there's two areas that I think when we talk about academic excellence, this is what it actually means. Really what I want you to focus on is personal development and professional development. School is a training ground for you to be a professional, right? Grades, at the end of the day, like you don't get an A for doing well when you're in a job. Like my boss never tells me, great job, Fred, you get an A, you get a gold star, right? I'm constantly trying to develop myself and push myself and you really never get to a point where you're satisfied. You take time to reflect on what you've done well, but you constantly think about how can I improve? And so we're really gonna use these two areas as the foundation of how I want you to reimagine academic excellence. It has nothing to do with grades and everything to do with how you're developing yourself personally and professionally. How we're gonna get there, I want you to focus on the four C's, the four C's, consistency, connection, challenge, and commit. I guarantee if you focus on these four C's, you will start to develop yourself personally and professionally in ways that will make you successful on your job, in your career. And honestly, these are the things that are gonna be more transferable than a grade in a class. And, and again, this, this session was called Your Grades, Your Way, Academic Excellence. And what I wanted to do is dismantle what it means to be academically excellent. Because it actually has very little to do with academics and more about how you want to show up, how you want to achieve something that's actually connected to a much bigger and larger goal than a grade in a class, right? And it's a really about you. It's not about the teacher. It's not about the grade. It's not about your GPA. And as you pursue excellence personally and professionally, the grades are gonna happen as a byproduct. So my name is Alexandra Settlemeyer. I go to the University of Alabama. I am part of the Zeta Chi chapter of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated. In my chapter, I serve as the financial secretary and the community service chair, and on my school's NPHC executive board, I serve as the director of public relations. Hello, my name is Sean Pittman. I am a member of Omega Psi Phi fraternity. I attend Michigan State University. There, I serve as the treasurer of Omega Psi Phi, and I also serve as the NPHC's internal vice president. In my opinion, what was most impactful about today's workshop was the emphasis on transferable skills from education to career. Because a lot of people forget that like, you're in school not to get good grades, you're in school to learn stuff for your career. So being able to have those skills, that, like yes, get you good grades, but also apply to your career are really important. For me, moving forward, I'm going into research in the field of mathematics. And so for me, this workshop showed me just like making sure I keep my head up and like don't get in my head about stuff. Take the reflection time I need when I run into like roadblocks when it comes to doing research, uh, applying for grad school, stuff like that. And just making sure that even though I have these plans, it's okay to kind of take a breath and look at it from a new angle because your work isn't gonna be great if you're frustrated all the time. So making sure you stay like confident in yourself. One of the biggest things from today's workshop was how close um, the conversation hit home for me, getting ready to apply to grad school, and I actually was um, denied from one of the schools I wanted to go to because of my uh, grades. I really sat down and was like beating myself up because I felt like it was beating down my excellence. But to actually come to have this event today, being led by a black man like myself, was really like powerful and really put on to, to my excellence. Took a lot of good notes that I'm ready to apply 
immediately as soon as I leave this conference, that's going to be beneficial for my endeavors moving forward.